Hey, welcome to the Terra Park. We've got a Mac G5. This is uh, circa 19, sorry, circa 19. <laughs> uh, 2005, I guess, 2006. And uh, we've already popped out the RAM. So you can just take these two screws and that comes out. Pull these things and the RAM chips come out, no problem. And we've popped these two screws here, which should easily separate the back from the, the screen here. So here we go. Oh, there we go, see it's coming. On this side here, there we go, it's coming too. Uh, now this is getting in the way, so we'll tuck that in. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Now we pulled one apart a couple of weeks ago, and man, this thing was in bad sh shape, it was so dirty. And this, you gotta be careful because there's a little camera in the front. If you wanna keep the components, you gotta be careful. So, Lots more screws. Yeah. yeah, the shielding just strips right off. Yeah. <clears throat> you need a bigger no, this comes off with just screws right there. So we can take off the main piece. Okay, let's get these speakers out. That's yeah, a lot easier with a screwdriver. Not die. <laughs> Last time we just used uh, uh, Multiple little tiny flatheads. We started. We started through. at third. We started at forty. So let's see how long it takes us to do this. You okay, Ange? I'm just taking out every screw I see. Yeah, there'll be several. I see a screw, it's coming out. <laughs> The entire thing is made with the annoying torque bit. Yeah, and they're all different sizes too, which is, you know, even worse. Another size. The reason we're taking this apart is because the uh, monitor's pooched and it's too old really to go on the internet uh, if you're trying to run Mac operating. Uh, it will not run the new Mac operating system and uh, the old operating system won't run in Chrome, so it's really hard to go online with it. However, because it's just computer parts, it can be used for Linux if someone wants to do something with it, which Nate does. <laughs> The side of this panel here <laughs> are two neodymium magnets, very high powered magnets. You gotta be careful, you could easily pinch yourself with these. Yeah, remember those. I'm actually using one. Um, Glue one to a car and one to a beam, and you can pick the car up. <laughs> actually, I'm using one right now, uh, the ones from the other Mac, right now to hold up a corner of a garbage can yeah, sized bat trash bag. <laughs> And it's the bat trash bag itself is starting to rip where the magnet has been holding <laughs> it instead of the magnet moving. That's funny. You okay in your range? Yeah, it's gonna be fine. The 
hard drive is actually one of the smarter mounted things in here. You just take the two screws out and then you can angle it right up. And that here's your hard drive. It comes right up just like that. <clears throat> Looks like it has a thermal monitor on it probably. Nope. Probably something like that. <laughs> There's a total of three fans in this machine. Three small, quiet fans. Heat sink is pretty neat. It's very, very efficient. Yeah, and covered in tape. these components to build a monster. <laughs> a big crazy murder bot. <laughs> so I was actually planning to put all the pieces on eBay. Good idea. So each one of the pieces will be individually listed. So you don't have to buy the whole thing. And do what we're doing right now. Yeah. If you have one that you're trying to fix, and you just need, yeah. say, one of the fans. But the monitor's toast, so. Yeah. It's got straight lines all down through it. Red, yellow, blue, orange. There's all the components. There's what's left. The, uh, the superstructure that holds up the, the L brackets attached to. See, it's hard metal. Like it's not some t thin crap. It's really good and strong. And the, all the way to the computer sat inside there, and it works. It worked really well. Of course, it was attached <laughs> at the time, but uh, and that's what's left. Bunch of screws. Bunch of dust. This is a piece of the power supply. Power supply board. Centronics brand. We have heat sink. And then one, two, three little fans. Three fans, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two speakers. Those are the little speakers on the bottom. It's zoomed in right here. Okay. So there's the two speakers. They're actually pretty useful. I mean, you can plug those into something, and they, they didn't sound too bad, frankly. Um, it's a 
power plug with a filter built into the back of it. Yeah, that's actually pretty handy if that one of those got cooked in your computer. You could buy a new one and save yourself a lot of money and hassle. Although it's kind of a pain to get to it. That's yeah. another piece of the power supply. Right. The CD drive. Yeah. I think that's a therm uh, like a temperature control, I'm not mm -hmm. sure. This is a CD DVD reader and writer. So it's actually pretty cool. It's not very fast, but it worked. It worked well. It did its job. Part of the heat sink. That's garbage. Oh, well, we'll keep that. Wait, that keep goes it? with oh. the heat sink. Goes with the heat sink. Oh, sorry. sorry. That's really heavy metal, too. Yeah. There's Wi Fi card. Very tiny. Okay. Got cables. Power cables. <laughs> nice. This is the webcam thing here. It could come in handy. Webcam module. Hmm. So much for our clean uh, couch cover. Thank you for mentioning that. Yeah. It was clean before. It was <laughs> clean before. So it was a fresh sheet. It was a fresh sheet before we did this. <laughs> Stupid kids. Here's the hard drive. What size is this? This is a terabyte, I think. Eh? No, it's a 160. All right. 160 gig. One point. 160, 160 gigs. Oh, okay. Yes. That's not uh, very big. Huh. Still useful. Yep. I'll put a whole rack of them. <laughs> Oof. <clears throat> All right. That's the motherboard. It's built in RAM. Yep. You want all these screws? Well, I don't know what to do with the screws. I don't want to sort them with the uh, pieces because that's just a pain. Yeah, sorry. The screws for your components. No one's going to want screws anyway. Well, they still, the screws are useful, but... Yeah. So I'll throw a sip. Yep, that should be it for them. Cool. Yeah, The back is done. How long did it take? Not even 30 minutes to pull it apart. You all right there, Edge? Yeah, doing fine. Last How time it took us, oh, Christ, almost two hours. Yeah, that was rather... Shit loads of swearing. <laughs> yeah. Excruciating trying to get that last one apart. Yeah, and there was a lot of um, just consternation. Work, working at it and working at it and yeah. working at it until okay, pair finally gets it. Turning screws with a pair of um, I had a vice grip. Vice grip. Yeah. Oh yeah, side cutters too. Yeah, I yeah. forgot about that. I was cutting. I was using a little pair of side cutters to grip onto the screw and cut it. See, being, being a tech kid growing up in the 70s and 80s, I understand what you gentlemen are going through with your frustrations yeah, exactly. with computer parts and such. This she is was, why... She was building, like, building computers as a kid. Right. My dad was soldering little bits of The first apples, too. remember those apples you could buy with the first motherboard? And they were like, was it 256 kilobytes or something? Something like that, yeah. A quarter of a meg? Yeah, mm -hmm. something power. like that. Yeah. Faster so than your calculator. Yes, it's just there. All right. Well, I will put all this stuff up on eBay and individual posts. Clean off a bit of the dust. See if anybody wants this stuff. I've had pretty good success selling old computer parts on eBay. Yeah. Good. Let us know what you get out of it.